Well, I have made tawa paneer before, but it's only fair to make it better, right? You ask how? Well. So let's make this, shall we? So let's start with what we'll need, like tomatoes, bell peppers. Oh no, wait, I think I'm forgetting something. Okay, yeah. First, let's start with the chicken. Cut it into thin strips like this. And we're doing this first to let it marinate for a while. Now, after washing the board, marinate the chicken with some salt, red chili powder, turmeric, black pepper, and about a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Mix it well, make sure it's in there, you know. Once that's done, let's go back to the veggies. That's some finely chopped onion, ginger and garlic, and some diced bell peppers. Oh yeah, we're also making a very simple tomato puree. Just cut it into quarters and blend it. You don't have to strain it or anything. Now all the mizza is done, so let's go to the easiest part of the recipe. First add about 2 tablespoons of ghee in a pan and fry up your chicken strips about 70% of the way. And do it on high heat because we want that char on it, just like this. Once done, take it out in a bowl and in the same pan, add about a teaspoon of ghee and saute your ginger and garlic until golden brown and fragrant. Then add your chopped onion and green chilies, saute until translucent and I really don't know why but I have this weird relationship with cumin, I always forget it. So please you don't. Now we're gonna mix the onions with it and act like nothing happened. And then add your mixed pepper, saute for a while and to that add about 2 tablespoons of yogurt and a cup of your tomato puree. Let it cook for a while and then add the masalas that you can see on the screen. Now tawa masala basically means that you cook it on a tawa, right? So naturally there's not going to be much of a gravy. It will be a little oily because it does separate after the yogurt is cooked. So once the rawness of the masala is removed, add back your chicken and don't forget to add all of that flavor left in that bowl. Now mix it well and let it cook on medium heat for about 5 minutes. Lastly add some crushed kasuri methi and chopped kuriana leaf for garnishing. Mix it well and it's done. Enjoy it with some paratha or rice and let me know your feedback in the comment section or you can follow me on my Instagram underscore rohit underscore ghosh. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recipes like this and until then I'm going to see you in the next one.